Hello everyone, my name is Vadas Marijo. Welcome back to Skyrim. I have a fucking headache, or I'm getting one, because I just finished recording those three episodes of Outlast that came out, that are coming out over the last whatever, so episode two through f two, three, and four, uh, I'm just on the tail end of those. I'm a little stressed out, and I like to I like to unwind with um, a little bit of Skyrim. So this guy, you look new. I'm new too. I think we could be friends. You're a fucking liar. You're passing through solitude. Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold. Yes. Sure. It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground or just left lying around in someone's house. Uh huh. I bet the two of us we're very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister DJ and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. I knew you looked like a clever one. Uh huh. With the war, many more ships come through these docks, loaded with weapons and pay, but few people, and they pass through dangerous waters. Uh huh. We have an interest in one of those boats. The Ice Runner. Okay. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in. But if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. Interesting. What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do something like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards... I could certainly direct them to that loot. Don't worry about them. We'll make sure they wash up safe. Maybe they'll even pay us for the heroic rescue from their sad. All right. You fucking psychopath. I don't think. Oh man. Look at solitude. They're reforming the dawn god. So pretty. Empire hunters or something. In the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up. I should probably do that eventually so he shuts up about it because I'm getting real fucking tired of hearing about it. I need I need this. No, no nope. I need this. Get off the grindstone. I know it's your I know it's your job, but I I'm fucking get off the I need this. Thank you. I'm more important. Oh, I can improve both of my dawn breakers. Alright. Fifty five, huh? It's not terrible. Wonderful. Now we have two how did it went up like by eight damage. It's not great, but it's better. <sighs> I am. I am tired. What about you, Carjo? Are you tired? You want to go to sleep, buddy? You want to? You want to take a nap together? Fucking. I, there was like there was a space there. It wasn't take a nap together. Fucking, because that would be uh, questionable. And who would have sex with a Khajiit? <laughs> I would. But uh, that's that's none of. None of no one's business. We need to find, uh, what's her face? I think she's in... Can I sell shit to the people? Oh, that's right. We have a fence down in the Thieves' Guild. Alright. Let's go talk to her. Whatever her name is. Tam Tamra... Ta Tamirala? Something like that? Some weird, stupid name. Tanilia. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of Good. Thing. You have a lot of gold. I have a lot of shit to sell you. Namely, golden rings. Uh, sell. Jesus Christ, these golden rings are going to be the death of me. Uh, let's, let's do that. That's fine. Uh, what is a sweep one job? One of the quickest ways to make some coin in Skyrim is to clear out some of the wealthier homes. If you're interested, I could point out a good... What do you say? Look, I don't like wasting my time. Come back when you decide to get serious. You know what, you sassy bitch? I'm just... Why don't you offer... Good. We could use the coin. Let me fucking... I don't know what half these are. Let's go shill. When a client needs us to eliminate another, we don't operate like the Dark Brother. We send you to plant some phony evidence in the Mark's house and then tip... Sound like you can handle it? Fine. Just keep it clean. Here you go. Thanks. Well, you done or what? Wait, wait, I... <sighs> Alright. Well, now that we have an extra little side quest thing, I forgot that there are, like, miscellaneous things for this guild. We can go do that and get some extra gold, I guess, along the way, but... I figure our sneak's high enough to be able to do that. Do we have any skill points? We do. Good. Good. Alright. Okay, let's see here. Blah, 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 blah. What time is it now? Oh, it's, like, morning. This doesn't look like morning. This looks, like, way late at night, to be honest with you. But, whatever. 
Let's wait in like six hours. I gotta sell some shit. To someone who will buy it. Right. No one. Ah, there you are. You're someone who can. Looking to protect yourself? Or deal some damage? I don't know. I, I don't actually know. My, my life is a constant menagerie of just. I don't even know. <laughs> it's. It's just ridiculous at this point. Uh, see if I can make it. I need to get my armor, like, put together, I guess is the best way to say it. I'm kind of tired of everything looking random. All right, so we need to go this way? This way for this? I don't actually want to do this. I, I'm afraid I'm going to fuck something up if I do anything that's going to get anybody arrested. So let's just go do Grim Seaver. That's what I was planning on doing this whole episode. Let's just go... I wanted to clear out my inventory a little bit and then head over here to do this. <laughs> oh, this will be interesting. My health is gone. No, to say the least. I need I need to have both hands on that. Like a big dick, both hands on it. Specifically like Carjo's dick. Both hands on it. Where am I going? This way, okay. We should probably put the new weapon, our new glass bow on the hot bar. Fifty five damage with twenty points of fire, huh? Oh yeah, I wanted to make new arrows, didn't I? I don't think I can craft anything better than Dwarven right now, though, unfortunately. Which kind of sucks. Should be around here somewhere. I really want to get new armor. I'm sick and tired of the armor we have. It's just, it's boring and old and bleh, and I just, just really don't like it. Oh, puppies! Hello. Dwarven city. Mazinsha left. Why does Mazinsha left sound familiar? Why do I feel like this is a bad place to be? What happens in Mazinsha left? Like, why am I getting, like, PTSD? Like, hearing the name Mazinsha left, like, makes me uncomfortable. Why is that? Alright. You keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, there are people in here. Why do I know Mazinsha left? Hang on, let's figure this out. Before we go any further, let's figure out why I know Mazinsha left. I have no idea. Alright, let's go. Were there just two? I thought there were three. Oh well. Dwarven arrow. Uh, gold lock pick. And blah. Hmm. I think that's the shit bucket, boys. Nope, it's just the food bucket. Ooh, taproot. Thank you. Hello, card Joe. Uh. I want to make better arrows, but we don't have any way to do. What was that? Holy shit! You scared me. Do your worst. I'm gonna have to ask you to are calm you, the fuck you? down. Cool archery increased again. Huh? That does seem to be going up quite frequently, which is kind of nice. Uh, ooh, this is a lot of stuff in it. Yeah, the fucking a lot of soul gems and stuff. Nice. I need that. Good. I I remember this place, but not a lot. What was that? Nothing. Don't worry about it. This bow is great. It's a lot stronger than the orcish one, and it looks a lot better too. Ooh, husks. Fantastic. Jazz bay. Why do I have to find jazz bay? I would have picked him up if I knew that. But why do I have to pick him up? What am I collecting those for? I have no idea. It's annoying. I hate when I have to collect stuff and I don't know why. Well, just look at your menu and you'll know. Also, why is it snowy down here? It's very strange. Very strange. 
Lars! Ja! Good. There's a lot of bandits in here, that's for sure. Jeez. I didn't think bandits ever fucking infiltrated this kind of stuff. I thought they left this stuff alone. I would never want to go into a fucking Dwemer Ruin. That seems like a horrible idea. Trying to cuss a lot less, by the way. I've been doing pretty well. It usually happens when I'm really tired, is I start to get sweary. Because I just, I stop being able to think of stuff to talk about, and it's like, ah, oh, I'm just going to cuss a lot, it's fine. But I do want to get back into the role-playing of Skyrim. I, I miss role-playing in Skyrim. So I think the, uh, I think the, from here on out in this episode, we're going to be role-playing. Because I, I do miss it. It was, it was fun. What is this? Muriel's Journal. Is that what I said? Muriel's? Malurial's Journal. Close enough. Lucky to have talked, uh, talked my way out of the gates at Bruma. Time to leave Cyrodiil. Skyrim. Not so bad if you don't mind the smell of mammoth. Maybe I can forget the research. Forget the contract. The air is clean here. Caravan brought questions with it. They'll catch up sooner or later. Money won't do any good. Need some dwarven junk to pacify them? But how? Markarth was promising, but locked up tight, and I'm no thief. Need to find another way. Highwaymen killed the driver and tried to rob me. Vivek must have been with me. Managed to talk them into working for me to excavate the dwarven ruin they were camped in. Safer than the cities, anyway. These bandits are thick, but nobody's going to find me down here. Actually found some artifacts. Must try to find a buyer. Maybe I'll actually make some enough coin to pay for these pay these fools what I've promised for their labor. Can't go to Markarth again. Staying in the ruins for now. What's my next move? Huh. Alright. Skill book. Alright, Carjo. What do you think's gonna happen? What do you think's gonna happen? Alrighty. That was stressful. What do you got on you? Lock pick. I didn't want to take that. I don't want whatever that was. You can have that fur armor back, even though it's probably made out of my people. I don't want it. This room was interesting. People fighting in here. It's cool to see people like the denizens of the of the world fighting. So I think we need to kill whoever that. I'm gonna just call them Muriel because I can't remember what their actual name is. But I think we need to kill them. There's apparently a quest to pick up Dwemer gears, but I've never done it, I don't think. Good job, Karjo. The spheres are some of my favorite enemies because they just look so neat. Especially when they're not, like, out. When they're just kind of, like, rolling around as, like, little balls. It's really cool. I think they're such a neat little enemy type. Especially how they move around and stuff. How, like, their, like, sides, like, spin and stuff. They're, they're so cool. I think you can actually get one as a follower. Oh, this room. I remember this. This is a fucking nightmare. Come on, Carjo. We might have fucked ourselves, actually. I don't think I can get back out of here now. Oops. Um. Shit. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Oops. Uh. Well. <laughs> Good. Time to load the beginning of his inshallah because I fucked up. <laughs> Jesus. God damn it. Why am I like, why do I just have to try to break shit? I was like, oh, I'm just going to fucking skip. Oh, hell. All right, I'm going to skip. I'm going to fuck. You know, this is the end of this episode because I it's the end of the episode anyway. But I'm going to fucking get to where we were at that puzzle room and then we'll start the next episode there. Why am I retarded? <laughs> why? We might actually use Dawnbreaker um, to get there because I do want to use Dawnbreaker. So I might just fuck around with that on the on the way there but i think in the next episode we're gonna start going back to how the early episodes of skyrim were where i was you know playing the character and 
flirting with Karja the whole time and kind of having fun with it and just kind of like, yeah, whatever. Um, but I think we're going to go back to that because I miss doing that. This episode was fine, but I, I, I want to get back to, like, the roots of Skyrim all those many months ago when I started playing it. Jesus, we're already on, like, episode, like, 60-something. Man. But uh, that's going to be it for me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, until next time.